Kaziranga National Park is one of the most remarkable wildlife sanctuaries in the world. It is located in the state of Assam, in northeast India. It was established in 1908. This park, which hosts two-thirds of the world's great one-horned rhinoceroses, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The park covers an area of 430 square kilometers and is situated on the floodplains of the Brahmaputra River. The Brahmaputra River is the lifeline of Kaziranga National Park, providing water to the animals and sustaining the local communities. This mighty river creates Kaziranga's unique landscape, which is a combination of tall elephant grass, dense forests, and wetlands. The park is also home to several streams and small rivers, which provide a perfect habitat for aquatic species. Kaziranga is also home to a large population of tigers, which are among the most elusive and majestic animals in the world. Although the tiger sightings are rare, the park provides an ideal habitat for these big cats, with dense forests, marshlands, and vast grasslands. In addition to rhinos and tigers, this park is home to a diverse range of wildlife, including the Asiatic wild buffalo, swamp deer, elephants, and many species of birds. The park is a birdwatcher's paradise, as it has over 500 species of birds, including migratory birds from as far as Siberia. The Kaziranga National Park is managed by the Assam Forest Department and is open to visitors from November to April. The Jeep Safari is a popular way to explore the park's diverse habitats and observe the wildlife from close quarters. These safaris are organized by the park authorities and are accompanied by knowledgeable guides who can point out the different animals and birds. As you drive through the park's lush jungles and open grasslands, you'll have the opportunity to see a wide variety of wildlife up close and personal. The highlight of any jeep safari in Kaziranga is the chance to see the park's most famous resident, the one-horned rhinoceros. The greater one-horned rhinoceros is also known as the Indian rhinoceros. The greater one-horned rhinoceros is easily recognizable by its massive size, grayish-brown skin, and one horn on its nose. This magnificent animal is one of the most iconic and endangered species found in the Kaziranga National Park. They can weigh up to 2 tons and stand up to 1.8 meters tall. Rhinos are excellent swimmers, and can often be found, near water bodies, in Kaziranga. They use their horns, to break through the dense vegetation, and to defend themselves, against predators. They use water, to cool off, and protect themselves, from insects, and other pests.
the rhinos have a unique habit of repeatedly returning to the same spot to deposit their dung. These essentially large piles of dung are known as rhino middens. Rhinos have a strong sense of smell and use their middens to communicate with other rhinos in the area. Kaziranga is also home to a unique relationship between the rhino middens and the spider flower plant. The spider flower plant has adapted to this nutrient-rich environment and thrives in the rhino middens. Researchers have found that a spider flower plant growing near rhino middens has higher levels of nitrogen and other nutrients compared to plants growing in other areas of the park. The spider flower plant is a favorite food of the rhinos, and they actively seek it out. By eating the spider flower plant, the rhinos are getting the nutrients that are needed by them to stay healthy and strong. This unique relationship between the rhinos and the spider flower plant is just one example of how the ecosystem in Kaziranga National Park is interconnected and reliant on each other. The hog deer is a small but beautiful species of deer that can be found in the Kaziranga National Park. It is characterized by its reddish-brown coat and distinctive white spots. They are named after their habit of wallowing in mud, just like hogs. The hog deer prefer grassy areas and can often be found grazing in open fields. They are herbivores and feed on a variety of plants and grasses. Hog deer are an important part of the ecosystem in Kaziranga. They are preyed upon by tigers and other big cats, and their presence in the park is vital to the survival of these predators. Another charismatic and endangered species found in this national park are the Holak gibbons. They are the only apes found in India. They have expressive faces and long agile limbs that allow them to swing effortlessly through the trees. They are one of the smallest and most acrobatic of all the apes and are known for their distinctive calls and swinging abilities. The Holak gibbons in Kaziranga are threatened by habitat loss and hunting. With increased efforts to prevent poaching by the forest department and with the help of conservationists, Holak gibbons in Kaziranga have a chance at a bright future. The Kaziranga National Park is also home to a diverse array of bird life. The park is home to over 500 species of birds, including migratory birds that travel from as far as Siberia during the winter months. The park is also home to several species of raptors, such as this crested serpent eagle. These raptors feed exclusively on reptiles such as snakes and lizards. The wetland areas in Kaziranga provide the ideal habitat for many waterbirds, such as this pair of spot-billed ducks. A tourist can also see and observe birds, such as the black-necked stork.
The wetlands are also home to the gray-headed fish eagles. These birds have a keen eyesight and are known for their ability to hunt fish. The red jungle fowl is the wild ancestor of the domestic chicken and is found in the tropical and subtropical forests of Southeast Asia. It is known for its bright red plumage and a distinctive call that echoes through the forest. They are ground-dwelling birds and spend most of their time on the forest floor foraging for food. The red jungle fowl is an integral part of the ecosystem here in Kaziranga. The Great Indian Hornbill is one of the most magnificent bird species, which can be seen in the Kaziranga National Park. They are easily recognizable by their large, curved, and colorful beak. They feed on fruits, insects, small animals, and sometimes even snakes. The great Indian hornbills are known for their unique nesting habits. They build large nests in the hollows of trees, and the female seals herself inside with mud and droppings, leaving only a small opening for the male to feed her and the chicks. The male hornbill is responsible for bringing food to the female and their chicks. Their stunning beauty and unique nesting habits make them a must-see for any bird lover visiting this park. The Kaziranga National Park is a haven for otters. There are two species of otters that are found in this park. They are the smooth-coated otters and the small-clawed otters. Both of these species are well adapted to the aquatic environment of the park and can be found in the many water bodies, including rivers, streams, and lakes. They are known for their sleek, waterproof fur and webbed feet that help them move easily through the water. They are expert swimmers and divers, and they can hold their breath for up to eight minutes while underwater. Otters are also highly social animals, and they often live in family groups. They are playful and energetic animals. It is a testament to the importance of preserving natural habitats and ensuring the survival of these amazing creatures for generations to come.
The swamp deer, also known as the Barasinga, are a majestic deer species, found in the Kaziranga National Park. As their name suggests, the swamp deer, are adapted to living in wetlands and swamps. They are strong swimmers, and they can easily traverse, through the swampy terrain of Kaziranga. They are easily recognizable by the large antlers, which can have up to 12 points. These antlers are shed and regrown every year. The swamp deer live in herds and are herbivores. These deer feed on a variety of grasses, leaves, and fruits. The swamp deer are an important part of the food chain in Kaziranga. They are one of the main prey species for tigers, and their presence in the park is critical to the survival of the big cats. Kaziranga is home to a significant population of Asiatic wild buffaloes, with over 1,500 individuals found within the park. They are also known as the water buffalo. These massive animals can weigh up to 1,000 kilograms and are one of the most iconic animals of this national park. The Asiatic wild buffalo is characterized by its massive horns, which can reach up to 2 meters in width. As their name suggests, water buffaloes are adapted to living in and around water bodies. They are excellent swimmers and can cross rivers and streams to find food and also to escape from predators. These animals are social and are often found in large herds, grazing in the grasslands or wallowing in the water bodies of Kaziranga. These majestic creatures are a symbol of the incredible biodiversity found in the Kaziranga National Park. The Asian elephant is the largest land animal found in the Kaziranga National Park. These gentle giants are an iconic species and an integral part of the park's ecosystem. Elephants are herbivores, which means they eat only plants. Their diet consists of a lot of fiber and vegetation. They need to drink a lot of water to break down and digest all that fiber. The elephants have a strong sense of community and family, and a waterhole is the perfect place to socialize and bond with each other. These majestic creatures can often be found in large family groups grazing in the grasslands, or bathing in the water bodies of Kaziranga. They are intelligent and highly communicative, using a range of vocalizations, body language, and tactile cues to communicate with each other.
the matriarch leads the herd, and the others follow in a line, showing their respect and admiration for her. Despite their massive size, these gentle giants are very agile and graceful. Each elephant has its own unique personality, and they all have their own way of interacting with the water. Some of them enjoy spraying themselves, while others prefer to immerse themselves completely. As they splash and play, the elephants communicate with each other, through trumpeting, rumbling, and even touch. The young ones in particular love to play in the water, and learn important social skills, from their elders. The mud also acts as a natural sunscreen, and cools their bodies in the hot sun. This is one of the many ways, in which these magnificent creatures adapt, and survive in the wild. An adult elephant needs to drink anywhere from 25 to 50 gallons of water, each day, depending on their size and activity level. They'll drink from rivers, ponds, and watering holes, which they can detect from miles away. An elephant's trunk is an incredible tool that helps them to drink water. They can suck up to 10 liters of water at a time, and then spray it into their mouth. The bull elephant is easily recognizable by its huge size, long tusks, and distinctive forehead bumps. They can weigh up to 5,500 kilograms, and stand up to 3 meters tall, at the shoulder. During the must season, which occurs once a year, bull elephants experience a surge in testosterone levels, causing them to become more aggressive and dominant. Thanks to the conservation efforts by the Assam Forest Department, the population of Asian elephants in Kaziranga has been steadily increasing. During the dry season, forest fires are a common occurrence in this park. The Forest Department intentionally sets fire to certain areas in the park and these are called controlled forest fires. This is one of the methods used by the park authorities to maintain and improve this ecosystem. Contrary to the destructive forest fires we often hear about, controlled forest fires are planned and carefully managed by the forest officials. These fires are set intentionally to reduce the risk of uncontrolled wildfires. While controlled fires may seem dangerous, they are actually beneficial to the park's wildlife. They clear out dead and decaying plant matter, which can be a breeding ground for pests and diseases. This in turn promotes new growth 
which provides food and shelter for the park's animals. Despite the apparent dangers, controlled fires have a minimal impact on wildlife in this forest. Most animals have learned to adapt to the fires, and many even benefit from them. In Kaziranga, birds are one of the many species that benefit from controlled forest fires. Many varieties of birds thrive in the diverse range of habitats that are created by these fires. The importance of controlled fires for the park's ecosystem cannot be overstated. They help to maintain the natural balance of the ecosystem, which is essential for the survival of the park's wildlife. The Kaziranga National Park is a testament to the power of conservation and a shining example of how humans can coexist with nature. It's a place where the boundaries between humans and animals blur and the beauty of nature takes center stage. The Kaziranga National Park has played a crucial role in the conservation of the Indian one-horned rhinoceros. It is the only place in the world where you can see a significant number of these animals. With its unique biodiversity and incredible natural beauty, a visit to Kaziranga is an unforgettable experience. Let us all work together to protect and preserve this precious natural resource for future generations.